In this video we'll cover some of the ways that ferrets can nip or bite, and we'll find out why my hand ends up looking like this. Do ferrets bite? Well yeah, they kinda do. They got a mean set of gnashes, and they know how to use them. But not every bite is a bite. Perhaps the classic bite, from a pet ferret, is the lick lick chomp. At first it looks all sweet with a few licks, but then sometimes it quickly turns into a chomp. It's not quite clear why they do this. It's not an attack as such, and there isn't any malice behind it. And usually they go back to normal cuddles afterwards. You can end up with a mark, but usually no blood. I tend to think of this as an involuntary action, like putting your favourite chewy sweet in your mouth and trying not to chew. At some point, you're going to feel compelled to chow down. Another classic is the play nip. Ferrets play with each other by grabbing with their mouths, and you should expect them to treat you the same way. The strength of the nip is likely to vary from ferret to ferret, with some barely gripping at all, and some do a little too hard for comfort. Here, Mushroom is in an exceptionally high per mood, with her nips being borderline painful. However, whilst this kind of nip may cause a raised bump on occasion, there should be no broken skin. And you can see here that Mushroom went immediately on to play the same way with her sister. Whilst we are on the softer scale of nips, let's cover the grab. This is when they want to stop you leaving. Here, Bogus was sniffing my hand and didn't want me to leave. This grab is also experienced by new mums, who often try to take your hand back to the nest. This is often confused for thinking that Jill wants to show you her kits, when really it's just that her mothering instinct to keep kits in the nest has gone into overdrive. Speaking of kits, when the young ferrets start to wean, they eat anything and everything. At this stage, a nip is a genuine attempt from the kids to try and eat your finger. This can be exceptionally painful, more so I find than an adult bite. There's just something about their little razor needle teeth. Check out our breeder series videos linked in the card above for more details on raising and nip training kits. It's not all bad news with kits though, they still have their docile playtimes and the nips then are far more innocent. This next type of bite can sometimes take owners by surprise. Sandy here is super docile and very trustworthy, but she always used to bite my wife. We just assumed she didn't like her, but then we realised that it wasn't just her hand, it was the hand cream. Without hand cream, Sandy is very docile and uninterested in my hands. But immediately after putting on the hand cream, she bites hard. We found that the smell of rubber washing up gloves is a trigger for other ferrets. Another nip which is entirely avoidable and completely understandable is the let me down nip. Most of the time, when our ferrets are sick of being held, they just wriggle and struggle, as we can see in this first clip of Chili. But pregnancy hormones make Jill's a little less tolerant, and so Chili in this second clip has resorted to a nip to inform me that she should be let down. It's nothing sinister, and she's on her way once down. Quite the opposite of the let me down nip is the pick me up nip. In these clips, I've purposely ignored Muffin, and he got quite impatient with me and gave me an attention seeking nip to my knees or calf. He's one of our most docile ferrets, but he does like to be carried and be the centre of attention. Sure, logic here would dictate that we ignore his nips, but we can't help but to pick him up and cuddle, and thus reinforcing this cheeky behaviour. Not all bites are cheeky or understandable, sometimes you get a ferret which just likes to bite. You can see here that it's not so much a frenzied attack, it's rather a game for Jalapeno. Oh. It is nonetheless painful 
and draws blood. The majority of the time, she is sweet and she is actually one of our cuddliest Jills. You can see that, despite biting me hard a moment ago, she is now perfectly calm and uninterested. It's not clear why she has these biting episodes, and of course, it never gets to the stage I'm showing here, as I don't just let her have complete access to bite at will. This is just for journalistic interest. At the extreme, we have a pure aggression bite. I don't have any ferrets that are aggressive to humans, so instead I'm showing a video of what it looks like on a ferret to ferret aggression. This type of bite will be very forceful and usually involve a ragging or a shaking of the head whilst biting for additional effect. These clips were taken to document the process of introduction of a new ferret into an existing group. Such intros involve varying degrees of dominance fights and a vital part of setting social rules for the group. Similar to the aggression bite, there is a fear bite. This will usually be a rather short and sharp attack involving some audible screaming. So yes, ferrets can nip and bite, but pet ownership is about learning our pets and understanding their behaviours and wishes. So we should be able to understand and avoid difficult situations. Thanks for watching. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe and try out some of our other videos.